Hey guys, G for T, Survive and Thrive TV. We're out here in Painted Hills, Coachella Valley, outside of Palm Springs. We're bugging out for a, a couple days. And I wanted to do a follow-up video to a video I did a few weeks ago called uh, People Are Disappearing in uh, California. People are going bankrupt, they're losing everything. And under this load of debt, there's a load of shame. And uh, instead of saying goodbye to neighbors that they've known for 10, 20 years, people are just packing up their things and they're leaving. Many times they're leaving out of state and uh, they're leaving to places like Texas, Oklahoma, North Dakota, Georgia. I'm hearing Georgia a lot. Um, <clears throat> it's like there's a whole migration happening from the West Coast to other parts of the country. And many times these people don't have jobs lined up. They're going to live with other family and hoping for more opportunities. The, the workers, the ones that are making the thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year are all leaving California and what we're left with is kind of a migrant, immigrant population that makes the majority of its income under the table and then takes advantage of uh, government programs like food stamps, welfare, low income housing. And then on the coastal communities, you have people that seem almost unaffected by the uh, economic situation. You know, these are multimillionaires that have either made their money in the stock market or real estate and they've lost a little bit of their net worth, but they're still living a very, very good life. When it's when it's cold in the winter, we're coming out here to the desert and we're hanging out here. When it gets uh, warmer, we're headed to the coast where we're staying at state beaches or we're headed up to like Lake Isabella or staying up in the mountains. Teachers are being pushed to the max. They already are having 30 plus students per classroom. There's a lot of stress, a lot of stress on the parents, a lot of stress on the students, a lot of stress on the teachers. And these teachers are trying as hard as they can, but they're still getting those pink slips and they're hoping to get hired on again, but they're kind of like everybody's in a, uh, a kind of a state of limbo. They don't know where their next job is going to happen. They don't know where their next, uh, uh, sometimes their next meal is going to happen. Many people are at the end of the rope with, uh, with their rent, with their mortgage. So it's kind of like right now what we're seeing is, is just a zombie-like state of uh, Americans. Um, there is a, a whole class of people that cannot pay registration fees. They cannot pay $500 red light camera fees. And they're starting to get in trouble with their licenses. And um, what's happening in California is they're tacking $300 on top of those fees. And uh, right away, they're suspending licenses. And Jerry Brown is, is setting the wheels in motion to start suspending people's licenses for non-payment of property taxes. In California, it, there was a time where people could make $100,000. Then they're having a shift in lifestyle shift in income and they're making 20,000 well they still owe those property taxes from the time that they were making money or those income taxes but they just don't have the income to make those payments is now the states coming in and saying we're gonna take away your licenses so people are not only can people are not pay the debts that they owe they can't pay the taxes they owe now they're gonna be uh, their their driver's license are going to be taken away. It's just insult to injury and it just doesn't even make any sense. Why would you inhibit people's ability to work when you're trying to collect revenue for them? So what we're seeing on a wholesale basis is government coming down harder and harder on the American worker and uh, eventually I think I personally believe all debts either private or public are going to be consolidated under some government arm. Right now it's a, t a franchise tax board and um, they're going to start taking away your passport, they're going to start taking away your license, they're going to start taking away all your rights until you start paying off these debts. And we've seen this with the wholesale taking away of rights of the so-called deadbeat dads. That was the trial run, is okay, if you're a deadbeat dad or you're called a deadbeat dad, we're going to take away your passport, we're going to take away your license, and we're, so you can't even have the ability to pay those custody payments, and then we're going to put you in jail for two or three months out of the year. So it's this whole class of, of uh, men in America that have just been disemboweled financially and now we're headed to a situation where now the government is okay now it's time to move on to the next uh, group of individuals and it looks like what they're going to be hitting is the formerly um, high income uh, middle class uh, American and that it can no longer make those taxes can no longer make those pay those fees those penalties now they're gonna start putting the clamps on them we have seen uh, military movements we've seen a lot of train movement down here in Southern California so in some ways it is disturbing we don't know exactly what's happening but there are things called fusion centers that were set up primarily I believe for the uh, illegal immigrant population and they are uh, the government is taking down uh, buildings and they're not putting signs on these buildings 
but they're processing individuals. And from what I'm hearing is that um, uh, family members get taken to these centers and uh, they're not allowed to see their family. They're moved from location to location. You can't find them. So in some ways, there are people disappearing. They're disappearing, getting lost in the system. Kids are being left with their grandparents and the parents are leaving to go find work. Massive breakup in the families right now. Massive breakup on the families. I know we have 50% divorce rate in this country, but right now families are being taxed to the limit. Financial, financial, financial issues. Everybody's having to reassess their lifestyles and especially with gas prices prices at the way they are now. Commuters, people that are commuting to work just do not know how to handle this. They're putting that $400, $500, $600 gas bill on their credit card, hoping and praying that the gas prices come down. The problem is they're not coming down. We're seeing higher prices at the grocery store, higher prices at the gas station, and people's income levels are staying the same. They're going down, if anything, and there's more pressure at work because people are being required to do the job of two or three people. So the ones that are staying here that are kind of sticking it out through the collapse that's happening in Southern California, we're just kind of left what happened to the Joneses down the street what happened to the Smiths down the street we don't know you know so who knows who knows the answer I think right, right now it's mainly financial people are losing their homes they're losing everything and they're just too dang embarrassed to talk about it peace out God bless take care